Hey there and welcome to my short series on Orthanc. Orthanc is an open source pack server which you can find at orthanc-server.com. It's free and open source which means that you can put it to many uses. So in this little series I'm going to be doing this from the point of view of a radiologist who would like to try and set up their own personal packs for various uses. So it might be for research, um, dabbling with uh, AI and machine learning, or just keeping your own private education collection that you can organize away from your hospital packs. The reason I'm actually playing with this is because I want to use Orthanc's REST API features to power a website which handles DICOM medical data. And I want to use this as the back end which handles all of the DICOM files and then actually serves them up uh, through a web based viewer. So to do that I'm going to be installing Orthanc in a server situation and if you head to the downloads page you can see all of the different um, versions that there are. If you'd like to just play around then by far the easiest thing to do is to download one of the um, install packages like Windows or OS X um, as they really do a lot for you and they come with all of the plugins so you can try it out. But when you're trying to do it in the server situation like I am, things do get a bit more involved and we have to go for one of these Linux installations such as uh, Orthanc for Debian or Ubuntu. I'll be using the Ubuntu installation as it is one of the most commonly used operating systems for um, servers. So in the next um, installment, I'll be getting into um, building a virtual private server uh, using like an off-the-shelf service um, such as DigitalOcean or Linode um, and really starting from scratch and um, installing the packages that you'll need to get Orthanc up and running and then turning it into a web server. Okay, I'll see you in the next episode.